Welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll talk about importance of load order. Load order is so relevant to many aspects of ClickView. Load order is used for default sorting, setting color order. It is also used in functions like field value and field index, which are dependent on the load order. In fact, we can use custom sorting instead of using the load order. However, I prefer to use the load order by using the inline table. So at the beginning of the script, we can specify the desired order and we can then load our actual data, which will follow the load order which we have specified in the inline table. And finally, we just need to drop the inline table so that we have a customized load order. So let's go ahead and look at a practical example. Uh, but before that, in fact, you can perform the same task by two different methods. The first method being uh, whatever I said, you can use the inline table and then get it to work. However, as most of you know that uh, you can also export the data to Excel and copy it back again and then create an inline table. That's, that's, that's another way of doing it. So let's look at a simple technique of using an inline table and also importing the data from our current model. So let me go to the script editor. And I've already created an OLEDP connection and then I'll select some data. Okay, and I'll select customers. Click on star, I'll leave it. And I'll actually go ahead and save this and reload it. And now I'll look for a field. Uh, let's pick up a field which makes sense. Okay, let's pick up occupation. And if you look at this right now, um, the load order is professional management, skill, manual, clerical, and manual. So if you wanted to change the load order, uh, let's go ahead and create an inline table. So I'll create an inline table here. And uh, so I'll click on insert. Like I said, you can use the Excel method of exporting and importing back again, but you have nice little feature uh, for using an inline load table. So let's click on load inline and then click on tools and click on document data. Now you can actually get the all the values or get the possible values or get the excluded values based on the selections in the document. However, for now we will fetch all the values. So let's go ahead and get occupation. So there we go. So this saves you from going back and forth from Excel or typing up if necessary. However, you still need to specify the load order. So I'll probably cut it and paste it. I'll randomly change this so that uh, it just follows. There is no logic behind this. I'm just randomly changing stuff. Okay, I have changed. So management is first, manual, second, professional, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'll call this field. The field name should be same, occupation. And I'll call this uh, uh, load order, probably. Yeah, so this is my load order table, save this and make sure that we should drop it. So drop table and copy this. So we wanted to drop this. So let's go ahead and reload this. And nothing has changed because I'm sure it must be do something to do with the sorting, yes. So I don't want any expression. I'll remove this, remove this, and then specify load order. There we go. So if you see management manual, professional, skill manual, and clerical. So same load order is specified here. If I change clerical from bottom to top, and go ahead and delete this, and reload it again, now you will see that clerical will come at the top. In fact, there are just two aspects to learn from this video. The first one being the importance of the load order. And the second one is how to use the uh, nice and simple option, which is available in the inline table and uh, from the tools menu. And you can fetch any field. I've discovered this method by Bills and Barry's post. So thanks to them and all credit to them for sharing this technique. So I hope this makes sense and uh, please rate this video or leave a comment 
and also please feel free to participate and click your question of the day thank you for watching have a good day